University of Kentucky swimmer Riley Gaines came in fifth, tied with a transgender male swimmer at the NC2A tournament, a swimming tournament this past year, um, was speaking at San Francisco State University. And she met with not just opposition, but was attacked in the process. Here's a little short clip, courtesy of Fox News, of Riley Gaines' own video. Ms. Gaines was uh, re removed from the speech she was giving um, and had to be put in a locked room protected from a mob of uh, trans activists at the uh, San Francisco State University. Um, last time we heard of San Francisco State University was when S.I. Hayakawa was there, like back in the 60s. I didn't even know it still existed. But the, attorney, but the athletics director of San Francisco State University um, blamed gender bias for the belief that trans women bi athletes have a biological advantage. She claimed, the athletic director claimed that, what do you mean? Does this mean, if you think that trans male, that male athletes, biological male athletes have a biological advantage over women athletes, does that mean you think that women aren't strong? That's the San Francisco University, State University athletic director. It's just, it's crazy. Fortunately, the U.S. Congress is doing something about this. Um, the, it'll be coming up on the floor this week, uh, H.R. 734, Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act. Um, and it'll be coming up for a vote with a specific goal of making certain that schools that get public funds don't discriminate against women in sports by allowing men to compete. Now, you know, we want to take a look at this. So you want to be fair, but the fact of the matter is, this is from Statistica's 2020, 2021 data. Um, there are in fact about 150,000 scholarships, sports scholarships given out at, at various schools around the country. 77 point, 77,784 are given to male athletes. 74,173 are given to female athletes. It's, it's kind of close. The reason there's a little bit of a difference is because football has, you, know, you have 85 scholarships and there aren't any comparable sports. So you typically have more female sports, but fewer scholarships um, in terms of the balance. Um, and so anyway, the fact of the matter is there are 74,000 scholarships at, at, that kids compete for, that high school girls who are competing in high school athletics are competing for, and they're competing for them against other girls. But under the San Francisco State University's athletic directors, mode or anybody who supports trans men being able to uh, be able to compete in female athletes against female athletes and get scholarships to be on female athletic teams every single one of those scholarships is taken away from a biological female every single one of them and there's no getting away from that it's a direct violation of title nine if title nine which protects women's sports and tries to create equality in terms of spending in the schools um, on on sports, if it's going to have any teeth at all, you can't allow men to compete in women's sports. Fortunately, once again, uh, Congress is trying to step up in the House, and they're going to uh, consider HR seven three four. If you're interested in talking about that with your congressman, I suggest you call them um, at two zero two 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 five three one two one, and tell them that you support HR seven three four and protecting women's sports against trans radicals. This is Rick Manning, Americans for Limited Government.